Hey everyone, this is KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, a quick fast video, no editing, no nothing. Where am I at with the satellite tracker? Why is your stuff hanging? Why is, what, what's going on here? Okay, so I'm having an issue. I'm stuck on this, okay? It's not the, not the physical build or the motors or anything, it's, I'm stuck, okay? Let's start here where I'm at. So, took the box off here. What is, what is this? What, why is that? Yeah, okay, let me show you why. So first, let's go back over here a second. Okay, I want you to tell me what's the difference between those two. That's right. This is plumbing solder. My idiotic self one night, about a week, two weeks ago. I needed solder. I was at Home Depot. I swear, I went in the section and I saw solder. It was in a package, but I know I didn't grab the plumbing solder unless I just didn't pay attention. Because I know the difference. So here I am a couple weeks ago, sitting on this thing with the soldering iron, just sitting, just sitting. It's not, it's not flowing. It's melting. It's not flowing. To, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Realized after I went back digging through the trash can package, it was plumbing solder. So there went that. So you can see here on the back of the board, it got a little hot. You know, I knew it was getting hot. I was like, man, something's not right, you know. So I got it pretty hot on that one side. So I figured... You know, and, and I would connect to this thing, and, and it would say servo controller there, then it's not there, then it's there, then this thing starts spinning and going up and down, and it wouldn't stop, and then I couldn't access it anymore. Weird, right? So I bought a new one of those. I mean, at that point, I got rid of the plug in connectors and just started soldering them right to it. You know, I said, if, if I got a loose connection, whatever. I boarded that, went to this, you know, the light was coming on and off. Now the light's on, went back to the plug in connectors, soldered it properly. I mean, look, see, that's a good solder job. I know what I'm doing. Right? Okay, so that's good. So then I figured, okay, well, before I pull it back together, let's start over. So I go back over here, right? See the lights blinking and stuff? Okay. So I can't access the web interface. I just, I don't know what it is. I have the TP Link battery powered router here, right? Ethernet, that's, you know, it's connected with a link light. You know, I can plug my Ethernet from here into my laptop. I get a link light, assign IPs, and nothing, right? And I'm like, well, what the heck? says it's there, can't ping it. So in the sketch of the Arduino, the guy that created it, the author, he has, you know, the original IP is 192.168.0.122. So I would set my IP and subnet as like dot .110 in the same subnet, whatever, and get a link light, say it's on the network. I'd try to access 0.122, you know, what he had it. Nothing. Okay, try to ping it. Nothing. It's weird. Tried, tried. Tried it wireless, you know, connect to this. Nothing. So I try loading a sketch. So I hook up the USB. I load a sketch. It says it's good. All of a sudden, you know, you load a sketch. I reboot it. Come right up. I can log into it. it says the servo controller is there. Okay. Unplug it. Drag it back over here on this side of the room. Plug it in. Nothing. Same lights. Nothing. So what the heck? Unplug it. Plug it back in. Nothing. So try another laptop. Nothing. Try changing IPs to 1.122 and different stuff. Nothing. Auto DHCP, nothing. And you can see I have like some sort of links there. So then I come back, hook it up to the you know, USB and the computer, add a sketch in there, it says complete, hook up to it, it's fine. Unplug it, reboot it, plug it back in, nothing. I don't get it, something's not right. Now I can't even get into it at all, can't, can't access the web interface, can't tell if the GPS or servo is being detected, a servo controller, can't see none of that. I'm frustrated. Uh, I know enough about IPs with stuff at work, with uh, you know, IP addressing and, and stuff like that, and subnets and routers. But I'm not an expert, guys. You know that. I'm, I don't want to be an expert. And you guys are some of you guys are way over my head in IT. But it's it's very basic. You know, you set your IP of your computer to match the same group or subnet as this, and you should be able to access the IP that you assign to this in a web browser and get to it. Nothing. So it rules out this. Can't be this thing because I try to Ethernet right to my laptop, same thing. I've gotten to it before wireless through that little router, then it wouldn't work. So I don't know what to do. That's where I'm at. Before I go plugging all this stuff back in and clean it up and cutting the old wires off, that's that's where I'm at. This, you know, at one point this thing I entered a command in there to test the, the value of rotation. I plugged it in, this thing starts turning, wah, it won't stop, can't get it stopped. I unplug it, plug it back in, can't even access it. I don't know. That's where I'm at. So your unedited, uh, aggravated video here. If you got any tips, if you got a, if you got a new Arduino and Ethernet board, please send it to me, PO Box and QRZ. I mean, I, I've already bought this. I hate to start buying all new parts. Maybe someone's a dealer and has got 
Arduinos laying around everywhere. I'd, I'd entertain to try a new one in case that's bad. I don't know. But uh, 7.3, that's where we're at. This thing looks like a mess. It doesn't even look like a tracker right now, but I'm working on it. KJ4Y is the eye.